Today's video, we're going to be trying Strong Zero Pear. But that's not why we're here right now. We're here because I'm going to be making... Making pizza, pizza dough. I'm going to be making almond flour and coconut flour pizza. Gluten-free pizza, and it's going to be awesome. All right, limited edition pear drink. Not great, I'll be honest. <laughs> the grapefruit one is so good. This is the only way to go. I've made my bed, but now I have to drink it. Now here comes the untraditional part about making this pizza. You essentially have to cook the dough in advance and then you have to cook the toppings on the side. So if you try to put it together in one go like a normal pizza, it'll get really soggy and disgusting. So first I'm gonna teach you guys how to make the dough. We're gonna pop that in the oven and while that's cooking, we're gonna cook the toppings. This is like a 15 minute, 20 minute procedure. Honestly, it is so fast. Pizza. So preheat your oven. Unfortunately, mine does not go specifically to 176, so I'm going for 180. Time to make the pizza crust. You're gonna unceremoniously mix all your dry ingredients into one bowl, and you do need to separate the wet and the dry because coconut flour and almond flour are not the same as normal flour, so it'll kind of absorb the egg too fast. So keep them divided. This crust will taste very plain, so make sure you flavor it or else it'll kind of be like blah. Hold up a second, didn't I have some kind of gross pear drink? Oh yes. So I've made this before with coconut oil and it worked. You can use any kind of oil you would like. Now I personally haven't tested it, but I heard that if you don't eat eggs, you can make a flaxseed egg. So if you do try that out, please let me know if it works out. Okay, not saying that I learned this the hard way, but make sure you use a spatula or a spoon because I tried to use a whisk and it kind of turned into a gigantic club that you could murder someone with. <sighs> also, not that I learned from experience the hard way, but this dough is incredibly sticky, so do not touch this with your hands. Because this dough is so sticky, you need either a sill pad or parchment paper to work with it, and essentially we're just gonna jam the dough in between and roll it all out to make it look pizza shaped. Now, while I thought I had a cookie roller, it has gone completely missing. So I'm gonna be using a martini shaker. You can use whatever you want to roll this out. And if you don't have anything to roll it out, you can just use your hands. This is not normal dough. You're just basically patting it down to make it look like whatever shape you want. Circle, it can be a star, it could be birdie, pizza, it could be whatever. Oh, and don't forget to cover the top of your dough with more parchment paper or it will get stuck to everything. Also, you don't need to press very hard. This is not dough that you're trying to actually fight against gluten. You're just kind of smoothing it out and pressing it around. If you press really hard, it will get stuck to the parchment paper. So peel the parchment paper back really slowly or else you just rip out giant chunks of it. If you do, slap it back in and pat it down. And it's all finished. Isn't that ridiculously easy for a pizza dough? Pop it in the oven for 15 minutes and check on it at the 10 minute mark. Sometimes you need to rotate it if your oven has a hot spot. Mine likes to burn anything in the back right corner. Smell those smelly smells of magic. All right, we've got all of our vegetables ready to go over here. Wait, I think I forgot to show you how to do this. Okay, let's go back. Now, the key with making this pizza not be super soggy is to pre-cook all your toppings. All you wanna do when your crust is ready is cover them in pre-cooked toppings, top it with some cheese, and then maybe get that cheese all melty and delicious. Okay, sorry, I need to stop here a second. I'm having a really hard time peeling these shallots, and I only bought them because they were cheaper than onions, and they are making me crazy. Oh, I'm gonna... You got this, girl. You will not be beat by shallots. They are below you in the food chain. You will destroy them before they destroy you. You, you got this, girl. <laughs> die, shallots, die. You got, oh my, I'm gonna, it's done now. Once you've chopped everything up, you're just gonna toss it into the saucepan and cook it over medium heat with a little bit of olive oil. What I'm basically doing is cooking all the stuff that takes the longest first, and then I'm slowly gonna add in things like chicken and spinach and some fresh basil near the end so that it's not super soggy and overcooked.
the reason I drained off all that liquid is because if I put it on now, it'll just saturate and become like a total soggy mess. So what I do is I try to drain, it's not like a, you know, it has to be perfect. I drain off as much liquid as I can. I put everything on the pizza. And then later on, once it comes out, you can actually add some of that sauce back on for when you're eating it, almost like a dipping sauce on the side. Now we're gonna haphazardlessly dump this across the pizza in an attempt to make it look a little bit even. Normal pizza, you put down sauce and then cheese and then toppings. For this one, we're putting down toppings. Then we're gonna add the cheese on top so that it melts down and becomes ooey gooey and magical. You know what song I have stuck in my head? That song by Battle. The step by step, step one, step two, step I love you. Oh, you can't see all my moves. That's too bad. I was doing the perfect shuffle. You guys may not remember Battle. They were like one of the first bands we ever heard in K-pop. When we first moved to Korea, we actually played outside of our window in the park. I had no idea who they were and then they disbanded and I was like, that's a shame. One of the members looked a lot like Kevin from Yukis. Maybe he like secretly started in that band and then like changed his hairstyle. Cheese time. I'll be using my $3 blend of cheese. This tiny ridiculous bag cost me $6. I don't want to talk about it. Ugh. Go crazy, go crazy. Is that enough cheese? I don't think it is. Oh, Martina, there's too much cheese on there. <laughs> nope. That's enough, girl. But is it? I think you got it. But did I? Ah, I just could really go for more cheese. Sad. I have a questionably old bag of cheese in the fridge. And it smells okay. Now that cheese should not be lasting that long, guys. But you know what? I'm gonna add more cheese. I've got the power. Oh yeah. Can you even see anything healthy anymore? I only see cheese. We're popping it back in the oven. Depending on your oven, mine's gonna go for about four minutes or so. I want just to make everything melty. That's it. The pizza crust is crust. The pizza crust is crust. Thanks, Martina. The pizza crust is cooked. Everything else on top is cooked. All we need to do is get this ooey gooey and magical. The power of editing. Oh yeah. We're gonna get swifty. We're gonna get swifty in here. Worst part, waiting for it to cool down. So last touch on top, while it's still a little bit ooey gooey and magical, I'm gonna add a little bit of hot pepper flakes because we like it hot. Remember that sauce you were saving from before? I'm gonna just drizzle this on top. Just a little bit. Oh, there's a mushroom inside. Ooh, I definitely want that. You just wanna have like a little bit of saucy stuff on top. It's not totally necessary. You guys can toss the sauce if you want, but it kinda adds a nice extra flavor to it. And then my audio died. Looks like a normal pizza slice, doesn't it? It definitely holds up. But it's not as firm as a normal piece of pizza. This part's starting to sog down a bit. Oh yeah, that is so good. Oh my god. It's like I'm having normal, real pizza and I don't have to worry about all the carbs in it. It's got tons of protein and fiber in it. I can't talk, so hungry. Is food ready now? Food's not ready. I'm so hungry. Food's not ready yet. It's coming closer. Oh, you're so tall. Exactly. What the heck? Well, this is what happens when you're an adult and Martina here still needs to develop. I'm big for a human. And you're such a tiny girl. Look at me, I'm a big boy. Oh, no, you're back. All right, this is the best one I've ever made. I think you're right. Right? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So if you want to know the recipe to this excellent pizza, please click on the link below and it'll take you over to our blog post. Please let me know if you try this out in the comment section or tag me on Instagram or send me a tweet or put it up on Facebook. And if you have a different rendition of it, let us know because like everyone has a different taste and different recipes. I hope you guys enjoy this coconut almond flour pizza because I know that I do. Mm. Mm -hmm. Simon's not listening to my pizza song, my pizza. Play Final Fantasy. I don't care, I'm playing Final Fantasy. This game is so great.
I just want you Final Fantasy. Not a good one. Look at this. Look at this little haircut. It's just such a sweet boy with his little. Can you wait? Look at, look at him. Look at, especially look at the camera. Spongy, over there. No! Okay, it doesn't work. Spongy just wants to eat all the food on the table. All right, you're out of the picture. We're done now.